Hello and welcome back to Craft County. Our video today is going to be the second in our spring series and we'll be using a brand new material to create a centerpiece for your Easter table. I've seen this project used as a coaster, a trevet, hot plate, or just some nice Easter decor. So let's get started. For our bunny coaster, you will need some braided cotton rope. I'm using 3 8 inch braided rope right now. I used about 10 feet for our example. However, the length of cord that you'll need is just going to be dependent on what size of coaster or trevet you'd like to make. Other than our braided cotton rope, you will also need some scrap fabric, some paracord, hot glue gun, pins, and a pair of scissors. This is a fairly simple project, so let's get started. So a standard coaster, I would say, is about four by four inches, so you can definitely just make your bunny about that large. Um, I was hoping to do kind of a, a pot or pan trevet, so I'm gonna make mine about six, six inches or so in diameter, but you'll want to just start by coiling it in the center. So I cut my braided rope at a bit of an angle and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the end and start coiling it up. So I'll just fold that back in on itself to start it off. What's nice is that you can just use some of those stray strands from the cotton rope to just hide that little glue dot. As you continue your coil, you'll want to stick pins in every so often as you work around just to hold the shape of that coil. And you want to try and keep it fairly tight as you go around so that it's as solid as possible when you finish up. Now when you have the main part of your coaster about the size that you would want it, you're now going to lead your rope and create the ears. So to do our ears, you're just going to use some pins to create that shape and secure it before you start hot gluing. Or if you feel confident enough to glue as you go, you can definitely do that as well. So once you have your ears placed where you want them, you can cut the end of your rope off. Again, I just kind of went at a little bit of an angle so that I'm able to glue that down and hopefully make it look a little more flush with the rest of it. So I'm gonna tack that down here. And then I'm also going to start going around and doing my glue points to finish that off. So now that I've finished my hot glue and everything is stuck together really well, I'm gonna move on to using my scrap fabric. So our fabric is going to just act as the inner ear for our bunny. So you don't need a whole lot, just depending on the size that you're making. So I'm going to just roughly cut out the shape for each ear, and then I'm gonna hot glue that onto my bunny. After you have your fabric attached, you're just gonna take your pair of scissors and cut around to cut that out. I have my ears all finished up and I just have one last step. I'll be making a nose from a Celtic button knot and I'll show you how to make that. And then I'm also gonna be lining the inside of my ears with some scrap paracord. Before 
for our last step, I'm going to be making a little nose out of some paracord. So 550 paracord isn't maybe as low profile as some other cords you could use for that. So depending upon the look or use that you're using your coaster for, you can use the 550 paracord or a, a smaller type cord like suede cord or jute. So I'll show you here how to make the diamond knot. You'll want to start with a small bit of cord and make two loops towards the back. So you'll want your, your loops, your working ends to go behind the cord right here. Then you're going to take those two loops and cross them over to make kind of a pretzel shape. Then you're going to take this side and loop it around and come through the back of the left hand side of your pretzel. Then you're going to pass it through the middle and back through this side. And from there, you'll go through the loop that you made and back through the left side of that pretzel shape. So once you get here, you can start kind of working the, the knot a little bit tighter so you can start getting some of the bulk worked out towards the ends to get your button knot shape. So that is kind of the, the basic know-how with the diamond knot. I will put a link in the description below to a video that goes a little more in depth on that. Since we already have our diamond knot nose finished up, I'm just gonna pop this one onto my coaster. To finish off my nose here, I did just snip the ends and use a lighter to gently press those down. And there's our finished bunny trevet. Hopefully you've enjoyed the second video in our spring series and you'll be sticking around for the third and final video coming out soon. If you've yet to see the first video in our spring series, you can find the link to that in the description below. Thanks again for visiting us at Craft County and we hope to see you next time.